Hey everybody, what's up? Fuller here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about meta sounds. We're going to talk about FM synth sound design. I'm going to build a really cool sound. Sounds kind of like this. And this. And this. So I'm going to teach you how to do a little bit of uh, more advanced sound design inside the Unreal Engine with only using FM synthesis with the sign generator. And I do have a video series on the basics of FM synthesis. You can go check that out if you want to. But I was just playing around and I thought it'd be cool to just kind of show you how you can really create some unique sound effects just with the synth engine inside the Unreal Engine. So today we're going to be making a cool laser sound and I want to use the first person shooter template. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's dive in right now. So I have the uh, first person template open and I've just kind of put a little bit of creative stuff in here. Uh, as you can see, it's just the standard first person template. Uh, but I do want to show you how to um, change the sound. Here's the original sound of the gun when you pick it up. Standard machine gun sound. So I'm gonna show you how to replace that sound with your own unique FM synthesis laser gun sound. Now, we're not using any audio. We are using sine wave generators and we're gonna use the modulation feature to whack that sound out and make some cool stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a meta sound. We're gonna right click on audio, meta sound source, and we're gonna call this FM synth laser. And we are going to open this and we see nothing. So first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to create a basic sine wave. And get, uh, we're going to leave the one shot for this. We're going to right click. We're going to create wave, sine, oops, create sine. And when we hit play, I'm just going to hear a sine wave. Cool. Uh, the other thing we want to do, we want to add an AD envelope generator and this is important because we want the sound to shut off when it's done. So we're going to multiply that and then we're going to bring this to the output. Now what we've done is created a, a generator when I hit play. You don't hear anything because this envelope is shut. So we're going to go on play into trigger. So now what we've done is we've basically created a sine wave with an AD envelope. AD stands for attack decay. But when I hit play, you'll hear the attack, quick attack, slow delay. And we're playing this frequency. Let's take this octave down to 220. Okay, so that's our basic sine wave with an attack decay generator. Now what I want to do, oh, you know what? And then on done, I want to end it. So that's going to play and then it's going to kill the meta sound. That way we free up, we don't have any memory leaks. So we got that set up. Now, this isn't the sound we're going for. This is just a basic sine wave. I wanted to create that because now what I want to do is I want to go in the template and I want to find that gun sound that triggers when you hit play. And then I want to replace that with this meta sound that we just created. So what I'm going to do, the way you find this sound is you go in your template you go under uh, first person, blueprints, and then there's this, you'll see this BP weapon component, double click on that, and then you'll see the weapon component, and this is kind of like what the weapon does. Uh, if you go over here under pro projectile spawn logic, you'll see right over here, they've conveniently put a little comment here, play sound at location. So every time you fire, after you pick up your weapon in this template, every time you fire, it's gonna trigger the sound. So we're gonna actually replace this sound here with the meta sound we just created, FM laser. We're gonna save that, close that out. We don't need that anymore. So now when we go, it's gonna make our laser sound. actually sounds kind of like an elevator. Um, that's not the sound we want, but now we know that it's working, so our gun is now playing our meta sound. So now let's dive into the meta sound and let's make it awesome. So if you haven't seen my FM synth videos, what FM synth does, it basically takes one sine wave, one audio wave, and or audio source or whatever, and modulates another one. 
And this is how FM synthesis works, like the Yamaha DX7 was a great example of this, but by, by using one wave to uh, modulate another wave, you can uh, manipulate the pitch and the timbre of the sounds and you can get some really complex tones. And you can layer this and layer this and layer this. You can have a modulator modulating a modulator. So um, that's kind of complicated, so go back and watch those videos. But you don't need to watch those to do this. You can just kind of see what I do and kind of start from there and go, go and do your own thing. So we have our sine wave. Okay, so what I want to do, first thing I want to do is I want to manipulate this frequency. And I want to carve this frequency and I want it to evolve over time. And a cool way to do this is actually by using an AD uh, envelope filter, uh, an en envelope generator, but instead of using audio, using a float. So what this does is when I trigger this, attack the K envelope, and what it's going to do is it's going to convert that envelope to a float almost like a timeline, which is really cool. So what this is gonna allow us to do, this is gonna allow us to manipulate the frequency with this envelope, which as you can see here in a few seconds, is gonna really open the door to some really cool sound stuff. So what I wanna do is when I trigger this, I wanna also trigger this envelope so we can carve that sound, control that oscillator. So now when I hit this, we're hearing the same thing, but now what I wanna do is I wanna take this out envelope curve, if you will, to modulate this frequency. And the way I'm going to do that is first thing I want to do right now, uh, so, so check this out. If I put this here and I hit play, you're not going to hear anything. And the reason is because this is a zero to one scale. So let me do a one second attack time and a one second decay time. Now watch this. I'm going to pull this over here. Pro tip here. If you, if you hold your mouse over this node while it's doing something, you'll see the readout. So See that go up, and then it goes down, boom. So I'm gonna go play, it's going up. So that again, trigger, oh no wait, I don't, wanna, I don't want that to, I don't want that to do that, okay. So when I hit play here, you'll see this go up, and then it comes back down. Here, let me do a two second so you can, I can get to it quicker. It's gonna go up for two seconds, up to one, and then back down to one, over the course of this time right here. Two seconds it goes, so it, so this envelope takes two seconds to go up to one and two seconds to go back to zero. And so that's your envelope and it's almost like a timeline when you're in a blueprint using a timeline. You don't have as much control as a timeline, uh, which by the way, you can use timelines to feed these sine waves and that gets even crazier. I'll show you how to do that in another video, but not this video. But so right now, let me just remove this envelope. So I'm gonna uh, remove this filter. now. This is a uh, envelope is a zero to one parameter, right? So it's it's normalized from zero to one, which is a lot of the stuff in the sound. So what I want to do now, I want to bring this float out. I want to multiply it by another float, and this float I'm going to multiply by two twenty. So now what this is going to do is this is going to multiply zero by two twenty all the way up to one. So now we're going from zero all the way up to two twenty and back down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hear the sweep of that sine wave go from zero all the way to 220 and back. This is gonna be cool, check it out. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I'm multiplying by zero. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this attack decay envelope. And so now what we have is we have our sine wave going straight out and we're gonna hear this pitch curve, check this out. That alone is cool. But here's what's cool about using this AD envelope. I can sculpt that curve. So I could go to a quick attack time and a slow decay. So it's gonna go up fast and then down slow. How cool is that? Now let me do the opposite. Let me go down fast, up slow. So you can already see, okay, this is super cool. You can do a lot of cool sound design with this. Let me go up fast and down fast. So now, let's go to our gun, pick this up. Okay, pretty cool. This still isn't the sound we're going for, but it gives you an idea. So if I take this up to 440, or actually shoot, let's go 880. So now I'm going two octaves. I'm sweeping, actually more than two, three octaves I think. We're gonna sweep all the way from zero to that three octave high A and it's gonna go weird like that. Huh, that's pretty good impression. Let, let me go um, slow attack, quick delay. 
and then let me go quick attack, slow delay. So that's pretty cool. Let's go quick attack, moderate decay. So now I go back to our laser. Our, our gun sounds like that. So it's already started and starting to sound pretty cool sci-fi-ish. I don't know if you drink Stoke cold brew, but Stoke just released the holiday peppermint mocha flavor and it's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm jacked on Stoke right now. Okay, so that is our basic, uh, how we're using the AD envelope to uh, manipulate uh, that pitch. Let's go take this back down to 440. Let's go medium attack, slow decay. Now here's cool too, this is cool. You can hit this looping and it'll continue to do this over and over. So it almost sounds kind of like an alarm. Let's quicken this decay and quicken the attack. So remember now, all this is doing is this is sending a float to the sine wave that's going on a scale of zero to one. Slow attack, quick decay, or quick attack, slow decay and it's multiplying it by whatever number we put in here. And that number is the frequency, okay? And so that's cool on its own, but now let's, um, let's take it a step further. Let's start getting into some FM synthesis. So now when we take this same pitch and we use this to modulate that sine wave with another sine wave, we're gonna get some really crazy overtones, and that's gonna start to give us that cool laser sound. So let's, let's dig into that. So what I wanna do now is I want to add another sine wave, and I'm gonna bring this down here. Now, for now, I'm gonna feed the same, I'm gonna feed this sine wave with the same pitch, okay? And then what I wanna do is I wanna bring this audio out and I wanna multiply this by a float. And I'll show you why in a second. And then we're gonna drag this into the modulation. So now when I do this, you don't really hear anything, but here's the cool part. Let's bring this out, let's create an input here. And let's crank this, let's go from, I don't know, zero to, let's just go 1500. Now listen to how this, I'm gonna loop this, listen to how this affects the sound. Hello, can you say Galaga? That sounds just like freaking Galaga. So we're getting Right now we only have two basic sine waves and we're getting this cool sound. So let's keep playing with this for a minute. Now we're still hearing that same pitch ratio because we're actually using the same pitch to, to generate both those signs. But this one here, we're multiplying that pitch by this number and by doing that we're creating audio rate modulation that's create so basically you have two sine waves that are kind of juxtapositioning themselves over each other and that new si that's making a new contour for that sine wave and that's why you're getting this now check this out if we crank this up to 5000 i do discuss this in detail in my fm synthesis video series so check that out if you get a chance. Now let's check this out with a higher rate. That's pretty, pretty cool. Let's turn the looping off. How cool is that? Uh, let's slow this, let's make this attack, decay time quicker and attack time quicker. Now we're gonna get like a piercing laser. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go a little bit slower on the decay time. So uh, a little quicker than that, let's go 0.4, okay. So now if we go back to our gun, we're getting more and more of a laser sound. Now, this is cool, right? You can kind of see where this is going, but we're just scratching the surface here. Now, check out what else you could do. You could um, maybe manipulate this a little bit. So say you want to bring this out and you wanna create the pitch here. Let's go, I don't know, 220 to 440. And then listen, let's loop that so we can hear it. So you're already starting now to get kind of like a sci-fi kind of alarm vibe. So that's one thing you could do. You can, manip you can manipulate the pitch going in. Um, the other thing I want to do here 
and you can add effects and reverb and delays and all sorts of cool stuff to this um, to, to make it even more kind of spacey and sci-fi. Uh, so let's hear this. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see what that sounds like on the gun. Let's come over here. Already super cool. Now, um, let's say uh, we want this to kind of move in real time. Here's another trick you can do. Instead of setting this um, here, we can actually create, we can manipulate this with an LFO. So let's do that. Let's drag this off with the LFO. An LFO is basically a, um, it is a low frequency oscillator, okay? So it's basically another wave. In this case, it's a sine wave. And it's gonna modulate that pitch according to these settings. So now if I hit play, you're not gonna hear a lot, let me loop it. So you're hearing this, this sine wave modulate a little bit, but let's go, let's make it faster. 20 hertz, 20 times a second. Uh, let's go, how much do we want to do? We want to go, okay, let's, mod, let's multiply this. Uh, oh no, we're, we're still going to, let's multiply this times 1,000. Now let's do it. Okay, so now you can get really, really crazy here. Uh, let's go by 250. Here we go. So you can kind of see this. Let's slow this oscillator down a little. Let's go three times a second. Okay. Okay, let's go up back to 750. Okay, so now you hear it warbling a little bit. Let's go up to six. Okay, there you go. It's kind of got like a spin sound to it. Let's take this up a little higher. Let's go, I don't know, let's do a weird number. Okay, cool. Now let's let this decay time go a little bit longer. Oh, that's pretty cool. That almost sounds like some sort of like bigger weapon, like a flamethrower or something. So now you can kind of see, you, there's a lot of ways to have some fun with this. Um, you can throw some effects on there. Uh, like I said earlier, you can do more modulation. Right now we're just using two sine waves. You can you can continue to to this. The other thing you could do is you could bypass this frequency and keep this frequency the same, which will create a lot of even more dissonance and stuff. Check this out. <laughs> Whoa, that is cool. Um, now this keeps kind of this kind of like over modulates. So what we'll do here, uh, let's add another. ADSR here. Actually, um, let's add our AD filter back here. Let's go. Oh, let's put this here. We're going to go here. Oh, no, we don't want to float. We want an audio. So we're going to go AD audio envelope. I'm going to put this back over here. And we're going to multiply this output by audio. We're going to multiply this by the envelope. And we're going to sculpt the sound even further. So we're going to come out here. We're going to trigger this. We're going to modulate that. And so now this is going to control the overall. So you can see. And let's make this a little longer. So now we're shaping the overall sound. That is super cool. Let's go quicker decay time. That's super cool. Let's go even quicker. There we go. Sounds kind of like a flying saucer. That's super cool. Let's change this frequency a little bit. Not that much. Let's go down a little. That is cool. So you can see now, and if you wanted to on done, you could come here and then that will kill the medicine. So we don't have memory bleed. And let's make that decay a little slower. Let's go 0.5 over here. Super cool. So now, come over here, listen to our laser gun. So this is, again, this is using so little processing because it's just a, a two sine waves and some math. Uh, and it's, it's, 
I mean, I'm assuming it's probably more efficient than using, you know, a bunch of audio sources uh, as far as the footprint of the game. Oh, the other thing you could do, if you want to spruce this up a little bit, put a little bit more kind of punch at the front, you could add a noise generator. So let's add a uh, noise, let's go pink noise. And uh, we're just gonna blend this with uh, this audio signal here. So we're gonna blend this. Let's do a mixer. Let's go three. And this is gonna come out here. So we're gonna have noise here. We're gonna have sign here. And we're gonna have this coming out here and then we're going to use the envelope to this so we're summing these two together and then we're using the envelope for that <laughs> so you can kind of see the noise you can even uh make that noise louder if you want to so now it sounds almost like it's got a fire like a it's shooting some sort of flame you could even sculpt that quicker you could one thing you could do, uh, you could set this up. <laughs> Again, let's do another AD envelope. Whoops. We're going to go another AD envelope. And we're going to go audio. And now we're going to use this just for the noise. So let's, because uh, we want that noise to be like that, almost like, like a hi-hat almost. So we're going to come out of here. Let's do this. Let's trigger out of here. We're going to trigger this. And this, I'm going to multiply this times this. And then we're going to blend that in there. But this one, we're going to go quick attack, quick delay. So super fast. So you hear the at the beginning. Really cool. Or if you wanted to, you could add that later. So come out, oh hold on, come out here, we're going to blend this with this and mix these together. That way the uh, pink noise is not being affected by the other envelope. There you go. You could make that a little, you could fade that out. Let's say that fades out a little bit. So it's like, tss. perfect. You could bring that up louder if you wanted to. Whoa, not that loud, Just blow my speakers out. There you go. You could also have that maybe ramp up a little bit. There you go. So it's kind of like shaping the sound, almost like you're spraying it now. So let's go back and check that out. All kinds of cool stuff you can do. Uh, and then if you wanted to, you could come out here and then you could choose which, uh, which envelopes faster uh, or slower and then we could use that for the unfinished. There you go. And then that way it's killing that sound. You don't want to put it on this one because this envelope ends quicker. So you want it to be on the longest envelope, the one that stays open the longest. So here you go. Let's check that out one more time. Now, obviously, you could also go in here. You could randomize this. Um, or you could actually set it so that it's, you know, a different, a certain pitch that you want. And uh, you could do that, and then that way the, the pitch could kind of like modulate each time. Uh, because there's a sweep, you wouldn't notice it as much, but if you took that sweep out, so for instance, let's, uh, let's take that sweep out here. Let's uh, remove this, and just move this to here. Now we're just gonna hear the frequency without the, the uh, envelope that first envelope. And again, we can come down here and we can manipulate this a little bit more if we want. So that's kind of cool. Uh, almost like a metallic kind of swell. Cool, so there's all sorts of different, that almost sounds like a beam, it's like a scanner. 
you can get a lot of these sci-fi sounds with this. We're just messing around here. I mean, you could spend hours sculpting some really cool sounds. Again, go check out my FM synthesis video. I make some, I think I make some bell sounds and stuff in there. So you could do all sorts of musical things if you want. But this is kind of like the general concept of how to use FM synth to just do some really cool sound design, uh, lasers and sci-fi things and, and stuff like that. So anyways, um, would love to hear from you if you've got some cool, uh, like there's like formulas for FM synth, right? Recipes, if you will. So if you got some cool recipes to make some cool sounds with FM synth, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to check them out and try them out. Uh, and I hope this video was helpful, uh, fun with meta sounds. Hope you learned some stuff. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment if you will, and we'll see you in the next video.